someone who just got back from the first big solo. You uh, haven't said two words about it. Can you have a fight with your dad by any chance? He just called. He wants you to go up to the cabin with him this weekend. Whatever it was, he obviously wants to make up. Mm, must be getting pretty this time of year. Maybe you should talk to him about us bringing the kids up. Honey. You listening? <laughs> so the Irishman, <laughs> he, he sees this beautiful blonde come walking. <laughs> I swear, I'd give five years for any of the summers we had up here when we were kids. All I remember is getting poison ivy in my dick. <laughs> And on everyone else's. <laughs> I mean, come on, don't you wish we got to go to camp or go to Disneyland like normal kids? What's the matter with you? This was our camp. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the boat at sunset. You better be there. Anybody doesn't get up has to cook breakfast for the rest of us, okay? Okay. Well, I guess I better hit it. You gonna lock up? Billy was a good guy. I liked him. What do you mean? That I know how much he meant to you. Do you? I never had a problem with you being you, little bro. at a remote cabin in the mountains. I brought your brother up here to talk some things out. 
a young attorney attempts to reconcile the differences. I'm through sticking up for Cam when you're shutting him out, and I'm through sticking up for you when he's doing the same thing. Between his father and brother. He's sitting out there in the truck as big a shock as you are. Who haven't spoken in years. You haven't said a word to each other since right here two years ago. Hey, unless Dad disowned me without letting me know, I'm still a part of this family. When two men unexpectedly arrive. We've got a dead pickup about a mile and a half down the two-lane. They find they all have something to hide. I could take down pretty much anything I pulled the trigger at. For I was much older than these two. Should have never let him in here. I bet you nothing they said was on the level. Secrets from their past. One of his scams went seriously south. He had to bury a lot of money and was going to disappear until they threw him in prison on something else. You knew them and you pretended you didn't? I am in so deep I know more things you've done than you knew. Resurface to threaten their family. You never had respect for my life. That something in you got so scared you couldn't even stand the sight of your own kid. Because sometimes you do something that's so horrible you don't know how to apologize. Now they must fight. You gonna kill them both in cold blood, Pop? Is that the plan now? This guy smells misery from a hundred miles away. And stand together. You think I was gonna let him walk out of here with you? This whole thing is gonna get a hell of a lot worse, so you better sit down. To stay alive. Let's just take the gloves off this thing. World International Network presents... You got ten minutes to say your goodbyes, get your head out of wherever it is, and remember what we're out here to do! A Daily Harris Pierre David production in association with Davis Entertainment Classics. You even take a step toward him, and I'll do it right here, so help me God. From Victor Salva, the critically acclaimed director of Powder, comes... Who came out here to watch you drown, right? Dean Stockwell of Air Force One, and in the line of duty, The Price of Vengeance. Jason Baer of Pleasantville, and Push. Robert Keith of The Mask and Wild Bill, James Wolver of Dead Presidents and Unforgiven, and James Remar of Mortal Kombat Annihilation and Judge Dredd. Carry on! Rites of Passage. I kind of need for you guys to... Well, look at me as a person. You know, not as a man with his two boys, but the three of us as men talking this over. You know, what the hell left a hole in you so big that you just, you just stopped giving a goddamn... There's still a way that this could work. Billy's not the only one that ran away that night. You and Dad ran away from each other. No. No, I walked away. And let me tell you something, big brother. I walked away, because that night, if I didn't, I might have killed my own father. Evening. You're about the only lights on this mountain. You're not going to bait me into arm wrestling, you. That's OK, Del. You just be sure and tell these pups after we leave how you know you could have won. Why don't we just all whip them out and see who's biggest? <sighs> Winner takes all, Del. <laughs> Who's in there? Walk away. Who's in the Walk car? Walk away. 